Hello, hello, hello. Just wanna make sure everything's good here. Hold on, I gotta turn off or lower down my music. Let's lower down the music here, a tad bit. Nope, I think it's already pretty low. Just checking a bunch of stuff here. Um, today, there's a few things I gotta do. Holy cow, I almost just um, used Maya hockeys again. Switching back and forth has been a little bit tough. Um, not even gonna lie to you guys. But uh, gotta get used to it. Okay, so there's a few things that I had to do here on my to-do list. So create test overlay, finish that. Streamlabs OBS, finish that. All right. This is gonna be a short stream, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I don't. Don't know people. like it's going pretty good um, all right let's go to mode should probably just go Have snapping on, turn that off before people get hurt. I have to, I have to be careful here. Let me just turn this off for. So I had a really good question the other day, or earlier today. Someone asked me um, about Maya and Blender, because I use both, right? Someone asked me which one is better at UVing, and I just flat out said Maya, right? Because again, I've used Maya for a very, very long time, right? So I also said, admittedly, that I am pretty biased. Just to the fact that I've used Maya for way longer, right? So yeah, so I figured I'd just reiterate that to anyone who... So that people know like like right now I'm using blender giving blender a shot but if blender doesn't fit the bill um, after a month then I'm gonna go back to Maya right but at the end of the day, it's really hard to beat free, right? And I keep saying that to people. Really, really hard. All right, so 
obviously my UVs are a bit mangled now, so I'm gonna have to go back and re-UV this. <clears throat> to UV editing mode um, let's go here okay and then from here, we're gonna unfold or unwrap. Right, we needed some unwrapping. It was getting, um, it was getting pretty warped. Okay, so go back here. I'm just gonna unwrap everything. Um, just gonna pack everything. Now this is gonna mess up everything that I did in substance, but it's okay. Cartridge, export settings, FBX, selected OB selected object. Um, meshes, cartridge, cartridge, expert, expert. And then from here, we're gonna go. This is gonna completely mess everything up, I think. I don't know how that didn't mess everything up. It doesn't make any sense to me. Did that update? I don't even. No, see, it didn't update, so this is going to get mangled the second I um, put in this new cartridge here. Preserve strokes. Yeah, okay, which is fine. Okay. We'll go back and we'll redo that in, in a sec here. Um, And then we gotta go to Marmoset. Oh, sorry. Um, I wanna clean this up a little bit. This is really annoying. Export selected, selected object, cartridge. Load this here. Things just have to get rebaked. Um, I don't know how to get rid of. I think this one just needs to get deleted, right? There we go. Perfect. At least now I know how to delete that. And, I, and then all this weirdness that's going on right now, I just have to rebake. So I'm just going to go to texture settings. I'm just going to rebake everything. All this stuff should be good. I'm just going to rebake this quickly. There we go. That should fix a bunch of the errors there. There we go. And then obviously. This was a test, so I've got to actually legitimately do it. Um, this is looking pretty cool. Cool, cool, cool. Just got to save this quickly. Um, I have a, things that I wanted to do. So, remodel cartridge, we did that. re -UV top of cartridge, we did that. Block in textures for the controller. So, let's go ahead and do that. Hopefully, my mic is at a decent volume here. 
Um, again, this is going to be a pretty short stream today. Just wanted to kind of test out um, the overlay. Hopefully, the overlay is doing okay. Um, hopefully, you're enjoying the overlay as well. I can't really see what's going on, but. Blender's good here. All right, so let's go new. Actually, give me one second. I'm just gonna stretch out a little bit here. <sighs> just gonna stretch out. I've been working on like my overlays and getting stream labs and all that stuff working for the past like hour <sighs> all right let's go all right so let's start a new PBR it's great controller OpenGL uh, 2048 sure here we go here's the controller I'm gonna quickly um, put in or look up some reference here for the controller now which controller do I want to do right I can do the European controller or I can do the North American controller. I think I'm gonna stick with the North American controller. Um, but, um, okay, so let's quickly go and um, bake the stuff. You don't need ID, everything else should be fine. Low is high, bake. That should give us some nice AO and all that stuff going on. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, so let's quickly go. Let's go to some layers here. So let's look at the cord. Okay, so let's look at the cord. So we have some smart materials. Let's take a look at some smart materials. Go for like a plastic, plastic fake leather. No, plastic, plastic armor, glossy, plastic dirty, plastic rubber, plastic rubber might be okay. Let's go for a plastic glossy. How about that? Let's go for plastic glossy. Let's go for add black mask. I'm gonna add paint. And then from there, I'm gonna go to selection. Uh, I think this is selection. Yep, polygon fill. And we're going to go for asset. So there we go. It's blue for now. Um, obviously, we can change the color of the plastic to. Um, I'm just gonna color pick a color from my reference there okay so this looks a little bit light let's go for something a tad bit darker there we go okay and then this um, plastic as well let's go for plastic plastic rubber plastic dry Let's try plastic dry. Let's see how this looks. 
Ugh. That, that looks like a dry. It looks like an, an eraser or something. I don't think that's what we want. Um, um, plastic used. Plastic used up. Plastic soft dirty. Plastic rubber. Let's try plastic rubber. Let's see how this looks. Uh, no, that's not gonna do it either. No, that's not gonna do it either. Let's go plastic. Plastic dirty scratched. Plastic armor simple. Plastic armor glossy. Let's try ar plastic armor glossy. Let's try it. Add black. Add paint. I'm going for another select here. I'm going to select asset. Let's try and see here. No. I'm not digging that. No. No, 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 no. Okay, let's just go for... Let's just duplicate this one. Um, smart add mass. Is there a du I think this is just control D, I think. Um, and then we're just going to fill this in. Uh, we're going to add black mask. Go to paint. And then here we're going to... Poly paint here, right? But the only difference that we're gonna do here is work and to change the plastic. So let's just go. Let's name this. Uh, let's go plug. Uh, then we'll call this the cord. Just to keep this nice and clean, uh, we're going to go to the plastic base. We're gonna change the the roughness of this a little bit. Just a tad bit. Let's go like 0.25. Okay. Just kind of give it a little bit of separation, right? So that's a little bit. And then we're also going to make this. So we're going to actually make the cord a little bit darker. Just kind of give it. So let's make this a little bit, a tad bit darker. Just so that there's a little bit of material separation going on. Um. Yeah, so let's make this a little bit more. Um, close this up. Let's go here. Plastic. Let's um, roughen this up a little bit more. There we go. Okay, again, we're just blocking in our materials right now. Um, let's call this. Um, controller all right we also need our base so let's take a look at let's take a look at our um, plastic arm let's try plastic armor I'm really curious to see what this looks like no, that's not what we want. Plastic mat. Damage. We can, yeah, we have to get rid of the damage. I don't like the damage. Roughness grunge. Sure, we'll leave that in there for now. Um, we'll call this the controller base. I'm going to add... Add black mask. We go to add paint again. Polygon fill. We're gonna fill this up here. Okay. And then now we're just gonna change the the color. Obviously, the plastic. We're gonna change this. We're gonna eyeball. I'm gonna pick it with the eyedropper Looks like that okay there we go so it looks like 
the roughness here. Just do something like that. The dust. Sure. We'll also make the dust more of like a yellowy color. And let's see here. There's also like a rubber. SNES. Let's go for like a rubber. This rubber tire, rubber dry. Let's go for rubber dry for now. I don't know. No, no, no. Let's not do that. Let's go. Um. So that's the plug. It almost has the same color. Okay, hold on here. So this one, I'm gonna make this color a little bit closer, and then we're actually gonna reuse this. We go to paint. We're going to add. No. Nope. Like that. We can make this. Like a dirty, kind of like yellow. Okay. Sorry. A little bit tired today. Okay. Um Yeah, let's go for another glossy here. I didn't realize that I was missing that. I was missing these. Oh boy. I don't know how I missed that. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to add that inside the texture then. Which isn't the worst thing in the world. But I just can't believe that I missed that little detail. It's okay. Okay. Gonna add black, add paint, and then we're gonna add these ones here. There we go. So we have kind of like our our base, right? So save that. Let's export these out. Um, let's go to configuration. Let's also make sure that we have our painter. Uh, SNES, go textures. So we're gonna be throwing that in there. Um, PBR, metal rough. PBR, metal rough. Perfect. All right. Open up the folder here. Oh shoot, I put this in PNG. Let's 
so. Let's just ex export these out as um, Targa. There we go. Okay, now let's go to Marmoset. Marmoset tool bag. Let's go. Alright, let's open up our scene here. Controller. Um, base color. Let's hook this up. Metallic. Metallic. Let's go. Let's go like that. And then we have micro snow. Yeah. Invert that. So that might be a little bit too shiny. So I'm gonna have to definitely tweak that. The cord is like ridiculously shiny. Um, and then normals. Let's put in the normal map. And then we'll just flip the Y here. And the cartridge is all mangled. Because I need to re... So, I saved this already. I'm gonna just reopen up the cartridge. Um, we're going to export this out to this control. Shift E, I think. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna go to textures here. Export this out. Just gonna. There we go. All right. So currently, that's what we have. Now, if I save this, <clears throat> like, I'm not too happy with the lighting, to be honest with you guys. Like, if I had to judge my own lighting, like, it's pretty, pretty crappy. Um, Why don't you make a brand new scene? Let's import both of these things in. I'm just curious because... So yeah, so now this has become a marmoset tool bag. Relighting scene, but now that I have like some base textures, I can actually go in, relight a bunch of things, and just kind of see um, how I can stage this a lot nicer. I'm just kind of seeing what lighting would look good here.
This might be the nicest one so far. I'm just playing around with some of this stuff here. I want to see which scene I like better, right? So, this is what I have so far. It's tough. It's tough to tell. It's tough to tell which one I like better. Um, okay, let's just uh, let's put in the textures now and let's just see how everything goes. Um, uh, normal maps. What's this? This is console. Gloss is roughness. Roughness right there. Albedo is base color. Uh, metalness. All right, so I'm just gonna go. Oh, shoot, not to redo that. I feel like the cartridge is a little slightly, slightly too, too.
too dark, so I have to adjust that. Just looking at my reference right now. I mean, yeah, it is it is slightly too dark. I think definitely. I'm trying to think here, yeah, it definitely is. So I definitely need to fix that. Do that in the future for sure. What what is advanced metal? I mean, spec. Oh, okay, I see. No, nope, don't want that. Um, the controller. Let's go with metalness. Albedo. Gloss. This is roughness. I didn't know that. There we go. Now, as for the console, emissive. I guess it doesn't doesn't really have this yet, so. Oh, it's, it's casting a shadow. I was wondering what was going on. Okay, so... Let's add some cameras in here. Say frame. Try to find a, a good angle here for this. I don't know. I'm not sold on this shot. And I feel like I'm forcing it. So let's not. Let's not force it. Let's do something like this maybe. Lock these. Okay. I'll say frame. We had a really nice shot, something like this before. And then this was like the focus or whatever. So, I like that. Let's go back to camera. Wait, we already have one. Okay, so we already have this shot. Let's unlock it. So, we have that shot. We have this shot. Camera three maybe has more of like a up top shot. So like this maybe. Say frame. Something like that. Okay, so let's go back. So we got one shot here. 
Got another shot here. Got another shot here. Shot here. Not bad. Now, the shot that I, I'm lacking is the back shot, but... Man, it's just so hard to make the back shot interesting. This, And I feel like I'm... Like I said, I'm, I feel like I'm forcing it. I don't know. I just don't see that it's an interesting enough shot. So I'm just going to kill camera 5 for now. And let's just keep with these shots that we have currently. Oh my god. Frick, I'm so tired. I can't believe I'm so tired already. Okay. So there's lots of detail work that I have to do. Okay, so for this, let me try and see. see here okay let's quickly check I'm curious to see um, let's see here where's a lot of people probably like, what the hell why are you using edge lots of reasons why I use edge um, no don't don't you ever dare make fun of my chrome um how was i doing here um let's go snes um most popular cartridge obviously super mario is probably gonna take the cake right when you think about it um, for me, the game that I want to do was Mystical Ninja. Myst. Myst how do you even spell it? Mystical. Yeah, this one right here. So I wanted to do this one. Now, the reason why I wanted to, to do this one is because growing up, this was the game that I played a crap ton of. Um, me and my cousin played this so much. Now, the issue though is that I don't have a clean, sh like, a clean shot of it. Um, I'll show you guys my reference. So I have it right here. This is the cleanest shot that I have. And it's not bad. I mean, if I put, put this into Photoshop, I can probably mess around with it to get it to work. That might be what I have to do. <clears throat> yeah, I might have to do that. I might have to do that. Okay, but for now... Let's go in and let's make these little changes here. So for now, this is done for now. Let's go back to substance. Let's load up um, the controller. <clears throat> okay. 
And let's, um... A few things we have to do here. Um... So, I need to... Okay, so I need to let's add a layer here. Let's call this uh, height info. Um, the material that's gonna be in here, essentially height. Um, let's see how much I can raise this by. Let's go. Like, let's go. Point two. Um, Go negative. Okay, so no, so what I gotta do is I gotta play around with this. There we go. Something like that. And then now I gotta. Go back to point two, and then let's um, okay, that didn't work out too well. Oh, I know what I gotta do. I gotta go maybe to my brushes. No, it's gonna work. no. That was. And hopefully they have. I mean, I can easily just go something like this, something like that. No, that's ugly. Arrow band. I mean, what I also could do, so I can actually model this in. Could do that. There are times that I wish that I had just done the high poly stuff.
Yeah, it might be actually be easier to model it, to be honest with you. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just model it. Do I really wanna model this? I can do a high poly, low poly. That might be easier. Okay, yeah, that's that's what I'll probably end up doing. Just to make this a little bit easier on myself. I'm just gonna make that as my to-do. Um, so I blocked in textures already. I'm going to um, make high poly detailed controller. So we'll do that for next time. Um, yes, yeah, so we'll do that for next time. Um, and then what I'll also do is I will, um, what the hell is I going to do? I'm going to make some renders here. So let's set up some of these cameras here. Um, let's go focused. Sorry, I have this locked. That's why. So focus, depth of field, camera one. Uh, nope, that's not what I wanted. Camera. I think something like that might be better. Uh, I don't know, man. There's just something... I mean, obviously this is not polished at all. This is just a lot of base textures and stuff like that, but... Yeah, I'm gonna have to do... I have lots of work to do still on this project for sure um, Pretty much it. Got a bunch of renders there today. Um, let's save this scene. All right, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Um, I'll uh, hopefully I'll be streaming uh, next next week for sure. 
Uh, the weekends, I tend to try not to do artwork. I try to just kind of chill out and um, play games and stuff. So, all right. Take it easy, everybody. Peace out.